There are 5,000 lists out there about what to bring to the hospital. Here's ours. Slippers. This might seem like a random item to start with, but this was so key for me personally. The hospital will offer you grippy socks, but I'm not sure about the cotton count or if there's even any cotton in them, and they're all about size 10. So do yourself a favor and either bring a favorite pair of slippers or a new special pair or an old pair you don't care about. You'll be so happy to not walk barefoot on the hospital floor, and this little creature comfort will go a long way. Be careful though. That first trip to the bathroom after delivery is a bloody mess, as in an actual bloody mess. So perhaps keep the grippy socks on for that trip, but then settle in for the rest of your stay with your own cozy indoor footwear. All right, now for the nitty gritty and fairly self-explanatory. You'll wanna bring your ID, an insurance card, your phone and phone charger, and hairbands. You'll want clothes to wear after the first day and clothes to wear home, probably something loose and comfortable, but getting out of the hospital gown might make you feel more like yourself, or there's always lounging in your pajamas. You can also bring clothes for the photo shoot if you want to get glammed up. Most hospitals now offer professional photography services. The photo shoot, however, should always come forth after baby's feeding, rest, and your own meals. A pre-photo shoot shower is totally optional. With that said, you can bring your makeup if you like to wear it. Let's talk about toiletries. The hospital has all the essentials you'll need. Toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, maybe shampoo, maybe skin lotion, but there is something to be said for stepping into a warm shower after delivery and using your familiar smelling shampoos and soap. You might even wanna choose something luxurious or an aroma you associate with a spa trip. Bring your choice of face wash and moisturizers. Your own wellness routine will make being in the hospital feel less clinical. And don't forget, your partner will probably want their favorite stuff too. A nursing bra or a tank top. You may leave the hospital before your milk is even in yet, and you may be content to wear the hospital gown for the duration of your stay. Regardless, it's a good idea to put a nursing bra or nursing tank top on at some point to practice getting to your breasts and buckling them back up. Skin to skin is easier, of course, but if your milk does start coming in, you'll want a supportive nursing bra to help manage the engorgement a bathing suit for your partner. Remember back in pain management tools when we spoke about the value of hydrotherapy? If you want to utilize the tub or shower in labor in the hospital and you want your partner in there for emotional or physical support, you can be naked, but they need to wear a bathing suit. And some moms are more comfortable with a bathing suit top or sports bra on when they're in the water, but no need to cover up the bottom half. Everyone needs to see what's going on down there anyway. You can bring your birth preference worksheet if you want to use it for reference, but be careful since you shouldn't get too attached to any one way of doing things. Speakers. This could definitely be viewed as an extra or superfluous item, but in addition to using music to help during labor, I find that rooms where a new family is playing music are typically calmer and more zen. I'm not sure which comes first, the music or the zen people. But if you like music, if it calms you, then bring some speakers with you to the hospital. On that note, flameless candles and essential oils or massage oils could be helpful during labor if you enjoy those things. Hopefully though, if you've labored at home long enough, you won't have time to set up your spa. If you do have time though, this can be really soothing. Your own pillow and a blanket. This goes back to the slippers idea, where a little bit of your own intimate belongings can really go a long way for your comfort, both during labor and afterward as you recover and learn to care for and feed your baby. Hospital pillows just aren't the same as the ones we have at home, and sometimes they're on short supply. Likewise, your own blanket from home may be just the homey touch to tuck you in for naps and rests during your stay. Keep in mind, if you use a pillow during labor though, you might wanna replace the pillowcase or toss it all together when you get home. For baby, you'll want to bring two outfits to go home in. One in the size newborn and one in size zero to three if you have a slightly bigger baby. You'll probably also want a hat and a blanket to bring baby home depending on the season. And if you're going home by car, you'll need a car seat. You do not need to bring the boppy or a breastfeeding pillow. In addition to being rather cumbersome, the truth is your abdomen is still larger than usual. So these support pillows are more maddening than useful as they get in the way. They'll be helpful when you get home, but it's important to learn how to latch and feed your baby without a bulky pillow anyway. 
You also don't need to bring clothes for the baby to wear daily, since they usually stay in the hospital-provided baby t-shirts that make getting in and out of the diaper for frequent diaper changes easy. You can dress your baby when you get ready to go home.